Hi guys! Social Saturday! And it's Saturday! Yay! Um, did it on time this week. Yeah, so... I'm not even sure why I'm here. I have nothing really new to report. Um, hmm. Well, I have and I haven't. I'm here, basically, to just give a quick update and let you guys know that I'm going AWOL for a little while. Um, there will still be videos going up, but of course they'll be pre-recorded, pretty much like normal. Um, but yeah, I've decided that now I've got my design team project and everything out of the way. And although I still need to do one for Susan um, over at Poppiness, which Susan's already said there is no time scale on that anyway, no pressure, so that's fantastic. Um, I do have unfinished projects that I want to get done but also we need to do stuff on the house we've put it off for long enough we've been here seven and a half years and we've put it off for long enough but the stuff we need to do to the house now and, and that's just way more important than crafting sad pants <laughs> um, but yeah I'm quite excited about that actually because the first thing I've sorted our bedroom out the other day my side of the bedroom out the other day and now it's going to get trashed again because um, I also decided while doing that we need a new bed uh, we, we don't but we're getting a new bed um, yeah so we're getting a new bed and our bed is going into Taylor's room <laughs> and just like the down here upstairs palaver when I was sharing this room with Taylor and he was going upstairs and blah de blah um, yeah we can't move our bed into Taylor's room until we get a new bed <laughs> but we can't get the new bed until we've emptied Taylor's bedroom to be able to put our bed in his bedroom again <laughs> it's really complicated so we're gonna have to empty half of Taylor's bedroom out into my side of the bed my side of the bedroom and my side of the bed because I've got more space at my side. Um, that's usually that's been because of having Liam Morsey. I just swear, sorry guys, <laughs> blooming Morsey's baskets and cribs and all sorts at my side at bedroom grandkids when they were little. Um, also, I have more stuff than other. But yeah, so my side of the bed is always more space. So I'm going to empty half of Taylor's room into my side of the room. And then when the new bed comes, we can quickly get everything in there and sort it. Yeah, it's, it's really complicated and it's going to take a couple of weeks to get it all sorted. It's going to take a couple of weeks for the new bed to come, but it's going to take a couple of weeks to get it all sorted. And that doesn't leave me very much time for crafting and filming and life besides. Pardon me. So, of course... The house comes first and then there's going to be loads shed, loads of tidying up and stuff to do afterwards. Also, putting Taylor's stuff back in his bedroom, we need to go through it all. Because when he moved all his stuff out of here, upstairs, it all just got put into boxes and stacked on top of each other. We never sorted it, we just boxed it and shoved it up a corner. But now it's time to go through it. We need it all done and dusted before Christmas, ready for new stuff. But yeah, and this room is all piled up again with stuff that come from upstairs in the bedroom that used to be upstairs in my old craft room that I couldn't bring down here because Taylor were occupying this side and then when we got Taylor upstairs I forgot that I packed all my stuff up in the upstairs room and put it upstairs in the wardrobe and I filled this space <laughs> with stuff from down here. <laughs> so it's like, oh, this room is full, can't get any more in it but I've got a wardrobe full of stuff up boxes with stuff in upstairs that needs to come down here. Um, yeah, so more organising. Happy days. My crafting hobby is definitely outgrowing this house. <laughs> and I need to rein it back. I definitely need to rein it back. And when I'm doing that, I need to go through it all and get rid. I'm crying. I actually need to get rid of a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, that aside, I have also decided to pull 
one of my journals from the Etsy shop. I say one of my journals, it's the only one in there. And it is the first ever Tsunami Rose Design Teams project I did, which was the Birds, Bees and Peonies journal. It's a beautiful little journal. Um, yeah, it's actually in there up for sale. Although when you're watching this, I'll take it off. But it's actually in there up for sale and it has been for a few months and it's not doing anything. And it will like, well, do you know what? To be honest, I really didn't want to part with it anyway in the first place. But I had had some interest in it when I first did it. But then, of course, it went in the shop and nobody's nobody seems interested. So I'm pulling it back out of the shop and I'm keeping it. <laughs> it's my baby. Um, yeah, my little baby. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as like a keepsake journal. And I'm going to print off pictures of all the projects that I've done for Daisy and what have you. And all the projects that I do for Daisy or anything like that, I'm going to print off and I'm going to keep them in there. And I'm going to put little bits of ephemera and stuff from other kits and what have you that I've used in there. And this is going to be my Tsunami Rose keepsake book, keepsake journal. So, yeah. Um, so that's that. I have no notes today, so I'm a bit... Ooh, what do I do? Um, yeah, that's that. I have been playing around with the bricks kit. Again. The same kit. But I've been playing around with it and I have kind of found a new template to make small, these are just printed on normal paper, I always do test prints on normal print paper. But I've done, like, I've found a template to use that gives you small and large kind of journaling cards. That one's got a real neat black board around it. You can cut it off but I left it on. Um, like here I've cut it off. These are the larger ones. I thought these are the coolest types. So I may I may have a play. Well, I've already had a play. But I may do them up and I'd put that in the shop as an add-on. A bricks kit add-on. So it's basically the bricks kit but in um, like journal card form. Um, may. Don't know yet. We'll see. <sighs> What else? What else? What else? You guys have... What date are we on? I think we are the 10th today, aren't we? Yes, today is Saturday the 10th of October. You, de you guys have 11 days left for the giveaway. For our 1000 subbies giveaway. Um, and just as a recap, for those of you who are, who are not familiar with that, oops, we recently reached our 1000 subscribers milestone and of course I am doing a giveaway to celebrate and your prizes, should you win, will be this awesome little teddy dude, look at him, who's got the channel logo on his t-shirt. And a little trophy that says winner and it says Northern Craftaholic UK 1000 Subbies Giveaway Winner 2020. If you win, those will be your prizes. There's one winner and that is your prize combined. Um, I will link the video where you can enter below. But you have, you don't have 11 days. Uh, yes you do sorry yes you do it does end on the 21st you have 11 days it ends on the 21st of october and then the winner will be drawn either on the 22nd or the 23rd um so yes you've got 11 days left for that you have it is the 10th today so you've 21 days yep with 31 days in october so yeah, you have 21 days left of the 40% discount code in the Etsy shop for digitals only, not physical items. Um, hugs not included because that's a physical item. Um, yep, yeah, you have 21 days left for 
a 40% discount on all digitals in the Etsy shop. If you use the code NCUK40, I will pop that information in the description box below. Um, I've had somebody ask me a couple of times, why 40%? It's a bit of a random number. And the reason being in nine days time, on the 19th, I am 40 year old and this is my birthday month. So yeah, I figured, you know, we did, I did a 50% um, discount last month that nobody needed to do anything for it just automatically applied and i thought i'd extend it this month to you know for it but 40 percent, but with a discount code um so yes oh there's a there's codes lurking around in a few different places as well for the same 40 percent discount that runs through the end of the month um but this is my code to you guys so yes and i can't believe I'm going to be 40. Um, I don't feel it. <laughs> but yeah, so I feel like I'm 50. <laughs> um, anyway. And I'm wearing Taylor's t-shirt. I love Pokemon, so what? <laughs> um, he outgrew it and I, he outgrew it and I grew into it. Happy days. <laughs> If anybody's watching that does play Pokemon Go, because I do, so does my mum, so does Taylor. We've played it since day one, um, daily. If anybody's watching who does play, I'll put my trainer link, my um, trainer code below as well. So if you want to add me as a friend on there, go ahead. <laughs> um, but yeah, shameful plug, shameful plug. I've got to do something in my spare time other than crafting, right? <laughs> Yeah, I choose, I choose to chase down virtual creatures. Well, I don't chase them down, I'm lazy. I sit at home and do it. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and then, what else is there? Nothing, I can't, I can't think really. And then there is this. Remember last week, those of you that watched, Remember last week when I said that Taylor had kindly given me permission to use one of his paintings as a scan it and turn it into a digital kit? Originally I said about scanning it and using it for myself to use as a journal cover and maybe make a, my own kit out of it to use in, the, in a journal. And he just said, yeah, no problem, and then stick it in the shop so your friends can use it too. Well... This is the painting, guys. How freaking cool is that? Like, seriously. Isn't it awesome? He went on a um, art course. I forgot where it were. I think it were Tate Modern or something. I can't remember. I get mixed up because he's been to a few different... Pardon me. He's been to a few different ones. He went... Excuse me. He went with school on a weekend school club um, yeah and they went to have a look around the art museum and then when they were there they took part in an art class and he came home with this I'm like wow isn't it cool guys but yeah so he said that it's been up on the living room wall for well since he did since he brought it home the day after he brought it home I immediately stuck a pin in the wall and put it on the wall um, and it's been there ever since a few years ago about three maybe four years ago um but yeah but i asked him i'm like taylor can i please use that to make a digi kit with and then i can make my own like use that would look really cool as a journal cover and then some tags and some journaling cards and stuff and he's like yeah sure no problem put it in the shop for your friends to use as well so there you go guys this is going to become a digi kit so cool i'm gonna put it back up on the wall I'm not putting a time scale on it because, like I said, I'm busy. But yeah, that's going to become a digi kit. And yeah, I think that's about it, really, guys, for this week. Because, like I said, there's not really a lot happened. It's just all go. But it was more a case of just popping on to have a chat with you guys to let you know that although there will be videos going up every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, don't be too alarmed if they 
kind of go up randomly instead of a, a usual scheduled time um, because at the moment I don't have any free any videos pre-recorded so I need to do them we're, sat, we're on Saturday now I don't even have a video for Monday <clears throat> um, but yeah I will stick to the Monday Wednesday Friday scheduling because have done that since the beginning of this year and it's been fantastic yes you've had videos in between like the other week when i were doing the faith journal you had them every day of the week um certain other series before that again you got them every day until that series were finished but now they're going to be every monday wednesday friday probably if i get a chance you might get the odd one in between but that's going to be it now for the rest of the year um also, I've decided I am not doing Vlogmas this year. And I know some of you are going to be gutted about that because I've had a lot of requests about doing it again this year. I'm not going to do it this year. Um, possibly next year. We'll see. But I'm not going to do it again this year because there's just too much going on. Um, I am also, apart from making videos to schedule on the channel, I am also working, going, well, next week um, I'm also going to start working on a project for next year it involves filming ahead so I will be filming starting next week but then they will get put onto the channel but they'll get scheduled for next year so and it'll run that series will run for 26 plus weeks maybe 30 weeks which is a long time. That's why I'm filming ahead now. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping that's that's going to be really good fun. Um, it's something I, I was going to do earlier on this year and then all this craziness kicked off. So, um, hmm. And all I'm going to tell you is, spoilers, it involves the alphabet. So there you go. <laughs> um, but you're getting no other spoilers than that. It involves the alphabet and crafting. It is a crafting thing. It's not a challenge as such, it's just me challenging myself. Um, but yeah. So there will be definitely 26 videos. There'll be more than that because there'll be extras that I'm going to add on. So less, there'll be at least, at least 30 videos. And they're going to go up once a week. So that's 30 week. Um, I might even see if I can stretch it out for the full year. So that I've got a video every week of the year. But we'll see. Um, but like I said, at the very least there'll be 30 videos. Which is why, like I said, I need to start filming ahead now. I also need to take a break from other things to get that done. So, hmm. But yeah. So, um, I'll still be around in the groups and everything if you need me. Or if you want me, just send me a message. You know where I am. Um, but yeah, I'll also link the freebies file down below on my Google Drive for the freebies gid um, digital kits. Um, they're not even kits, they're just bits and bots bits and bobs from the kits that I've not been happy with when I did them or I just did it playing around and thought mm, now nah, I'll stick it in freebies file um, I'll post the link to that below feel free to take advantage of those and use them and um, the terms and conditions is in there to file is in there as well um, uh, but yeah oh and there's new kits coming to the Etsy shop soon too but I'm looking at doing that slightly differently because um, I don't know why but Etsy is a pain in the rear end and it'll only let me upload files that are less than five megabytes and I can only upload four either three or four files whatever but I have kits that are bigger than that and I can't I can't get them any smaller so I can't put them on Etsy because I can't get them to you guys 
the only thing I could do would put the files that I can on there and then send the others after. But with the amount of orders that I'm getting lately, that's too much. I'd have to be sat at the computer all day. Um, so I'm trying to find a way of being able to let you guys download and like a, a notepad um, thing with the link to the Google Drive instead of the link to the kits on Etsy is give you the link via a note and do it that way. I don't know. But anyway, I'll work on it. But yeah, there's several kits that I want to get up in the Etsy shop for you guys that you've been asking about because we've, I've been using them or you've seen my design team members using them, but they're not in the shop. And it's like, well, I can't put them in the shop because the files are too big. I can't get them on there. Etsy won't let me. Which really frustrates me because I, I download kits from other people that are way bigger than what I'm allowed to upload. So it's like, why? I don't get it. Anyway, never mind. Maybe because I'm only small. I don't know. But yes, so if I could just give you the link instead of having to upload the files, I could put all the kits on there. I've got probably about nine kits on my Google Drive waiting to go on, the, waiting to go in the Etsy store, but I can't do it yet because they're too big. So, and I can't make them any smaller because by doing that, then I sacrifice the quality of them. It's just frustrating. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, but like I said, I'm lost, I'm sorry guys, I am lost this week, I've no notes at the side of you guys looking at me, telling me, I have actually, I've got last week's notes here, <laughs> I've still got last week's notes sat there looking at me, which are completely irrelevant to this week's video, um, but yeah, so... I think I've covered everything anyway. I am still here, guys, but I am taking a long break because I need it. Um, well, the house needs it, should I say. <laughs> but yeah, so... Other than that... Yeah, there's not really a lot going on. Um, oh, I haven't done it yet. I forgot to edit and upload the video of the which I said last week was a surprise thing that I bought for the grandkids that I would do a video and show you about. Well, it came and it's freaking awesome. Awesome. Um, it came a day earlier than expected and Tater Pie loves it. Absolutely loves it. It came Tuesday night um, just after Hubby had taken grandbaby number three home so we put it up while well, he actually it came as as he was putting as we were putting her in the car for him to take her home. That came, so I brought it in, unpackaged it all, and started putting it up. He got back and helped me put the rest of it up, and we put it in place and everything. And then the day after, we had tater pie and grandbaby number four, and it was the first thing that he edited for. And he spent nearly all afternoon sitting there playing, and I was like, oh, yes, he loved it, absolutely loved it. We've got another fortnight to wait now before kids come, before grandkids come back again. So I'm like, <laughs> I want them to come and play. But they're going to love it. And not just the grandkids. I can use it. Taylor can use it. And it's, yeah, it's proper awesome. And it's a whole multifunctional thing. It's brilliant. Brilliant. So I will sort that video out and I'll get it on. Uh, need to have a word with Tater Pie's mummy first because two of the videos Tater Pie's in them. She don't. She normally doesn't bother, but I always ask her permission first. Um, but yeah, so I will sort that out and I'll get that uploaded and what have you. So that probably might actually I'll sort that out with and that probably that might be Monday's video, which then gives me a few days extra to get Wednesday sorted. Um, but yeah. And I'm going to go because we are nearly 24 and a half minutes in and I've just waffled. So, you know, your usual social Saturday video. I must admit watching them back, I preferred the structured ones. So I think I'm going to have to go back to doing that. I'm going to start doing the notes ones. Um, despite the pre-recorded videos and everything, I still am aiming to get on. Not weekly because there's not going to be a lot to report. But I'm still aiming to get on at least once a fortnight to do the social Saturday videos just to keep you guys in the loop. Because all the other videos will be pre-recorded. -re so at least then I can keep you guys up to date. And speaking of keeping you guys up to date, 
not that it really matters another reason i'm taking a break is because about five minutes before i sat down to do this video i got a text message from school saying there has been another confirmed case within school and if our child or if your child has been affected within the bubbles you will be contacted separately uh, individually well i got the text message and read it and then thought oh great and then come to do the video so i don't know whether we've been affected by that whether taylor's bubbles have been affected by that probably not um but you know fingers crossed but you know so again we thought things were okay because it's been nearly a fortnight since we last well it would have been a fortnight tomorrow um since they last mentioned a, a case a confirmed case anyway and then oh wham again it all stopped you you just can't relax just can't relax can you it's crazy anyway i'm gonna go guys so there you go and thank you so much for watching thank you for putting up with me <laughs> and i will speak to you all again soon thanks for watching bye